Aries, welcome to your Singles and Curious reading. Allow me to go over your oracle board with you because I had put down cards before I realized I wasn't recording because I'm extra like that. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Sometimes I'm so extra, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> I know you know. Okay. Okay. Anyway, and also P.S. I decided to go ahead and change the layout for Singles and Curious. I'm going to keep doing it. I love it. But they also don't need to be 20 and 30 minutes long. So we are reducing them. Yes, we're getting to the point faster. That's the idea. I love a good long uh, <laughs> reading. <laughs> but no, Singles and Curious don't need to be 30 minutes long. And I got my little lap blanket tick because I'm a little cold. Okay, so the oracle cards I had pulled from you right here from this deck. Okay, we have the thinking man, Aquarian energy. Okay, envy. All right, and then, what is it? Angel of love here. <sighs> you know, somebody is thinking very seriously about what they wish they could have with you or what it is that you represent and you seem to represent the heart space, the love and the compassion that is easy and uninhibited and not attached to a bunch of bullshit. Um, they think about it as coming from a cold place, a distant place, a calculated place. They themselves don't dare go for it, which is what's causing the envy. They're looking at you and wishing that they had you and everything that you represent, which is love and compassion and a sense of openness and vulnerability, this, the very things that this person feels that they cannot be or choose not to be, because this person is the thinking man, that means it's a choice. They're choosing to not accept these things in life and kind of go into a place of envy, okay? More so where the heart space and the passion space what you represent is concerned. In other words, they wish they had you. How that relates to your base, we'll see. What's going on, please? Show me what I need to see, please. Show me what I need to see, please. What? There you are, right on the split. Mm -hmm. Some of you are simply concerning yourself with your Ten of Cups. And you don't see this person, but they see you. I don't know. Show me what I need to see, please. What's going on for Aries? Show me what I need to see, please, for Aries. Somebody's wishing they had the Ten of Cups with you. Show me what I need to see, please. What's going on? Show me currents. Current. Yeah. Yourself, you're brilliant. Queen of Queen of Wands, Queen of Fire. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Okay? The fool, the risk taker. You're open to life. Alright, the other person, Page of Pentacles, their energy is nothing. Is the attraction instant? Yeah, there's heart space there between you two. You probably don't know it though. If they're putting off a page of pentacles, there's no fucking way you know it. Again, they've made a conscious decision to not own your energy or look into your energy or try to take a hold of your energy. Nothing to do with your energy and it's causing a, a chasm for envy. Okay. Um, the mental, emotional, or physical attraction. You're open to options in love. I don't know that you necessarily see this person. Especially, again, look what you're pulling. You pulled a Queen of Wands. They're pulling a Page of Pentacles. You may not see this person. Again, causing that creation, that space for envy. I want that Aries, they should be mine. I want Aries, they should be mine. And it's, But then they're putting off a page of pentacles. They're consciously choosing to keep this tension to themselves. Challenges, please. Two of pentacles. What do I do? You might have more than one option, especially if you have options. When we're how the hermit, you could literally be meeting a Virgo and then also nine. Nine, nine, September is, has become a, a consistent marker for everybody. Uh, a lot of things are lining up for September. <laughs> But yeah, the Hermit, Card of Virgo, things will happen when either this person heals, you heal. It could be a many things. We need to break it down. But for the most part, I'm taking away from that Virgo and then the absolute number of nine. Okay? All right. This, I'm, I'm, it sucks, man. I know that there's feelings here between you two. To what extent, I don't know. Just because the King Cups here, upon clarification, the output may be nothing. So you put out nothing, you get nothing in return. This person could love you and say nothing, which from what I can tell, that might well be the case. I don't know. The envy is kind of freedom that's coming across kind of strongly. Uh, show me what I need to see, please, for Aries. Show me what I need to see, please, for Aries. Show me Aries. Show me Aries, 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 Aries. What's going on? Undecided about what to do with you. Mm. Show me what I need to see, please. Do I make an offer or what? What am I supposed to do with this? They don't know. It has not. It, 
Okay. Show me what I need to see, please. There's that fool again. Some of you just love taking risks, opening yourself up to new adventures and experiences. You live for it. You fucking live for it, man. Dude, that's awesome. I am being told to shake them out one more time. Um, Aquarius, again, Aquarian energy here. And then also Taurus. Show me what I need to see, please. Show me what I need to see, please. You're seeing people, honey. You're seeing people. A little bit back and forth. Nothing, non, just nothing too crazy. Non-committal, Six of Pentacles is easy peasy, balanced out dating. I give you a little, you can call it breadcrumbing, but then that would make you the breadcrumber, so make sure that you check yourself before you comment. I'm um, looking at an Aries who is actively engaging in multiple energies, but in a balanced, fair, practical way. In other words, nothing crazy, nothing non-committal, um, and it feels okay. No one's really tipping the scales in any one direction, you know, and that's fine too. Uh, you're not committing to anyone. Your options and love seem to be there. Okay, so I do see an Aries who is dating or is interested in dating. Okay, um, anything else? Yeah, you're, you're good. You're single. You're confident. You're not trying to lock it down right now. So, I don't know that anyone's accusing you of breadcrumbing. It could be. That's like the lesser extent of it. I often do not just see it as practical, low-level dating. You're showing everybody kind of equal sense of your particular energy. Okay, because again, no one's tipping the scales. If anything, you're choosing you. <laughs> that Nine of Pentacles, I'm good. I enjoy seeing folk, but I'm good. <laughs> I enjoy seeing, see, mm -hmm. I know. <laughs> That's great. Okay, the person surrounding you is including a page of pentacles. Either they're looking at the memories with you. Okay, and that's all they have is memories or the communication is crap. Or they themselves can't speak up or express themselves again. This person's actively choosing to keep this shit in their head and it creates envy in their heart space, wishing that, frankly, they fucking had your love and energy and passion, compassion. The angel of love is all those things. A proper anything of love has passion as well as compassion in it. Proper love has all those aspects, water as well as fire. Absolutely. Page of Pentacles, show me. They got to, seriously, they want you, they act like they don't. Or they're remembering Page of Pentacles. If you do know this person, they're remembering the passion they had with you. <sighs> two aces. This person just pulled two fucking aces and they're not saying shit. <sighs> Page of Pentacles. Their energy is so small. And what they want is so substantial. This might be one of the people you're dating and they wish they had more with you. In which case, the person who's exuding, you know, that strong ace energy, ace of wand, ace of cup. If their energy is very shy or very reserved, that's the person you need to take a second look at. Some, not everybody's like you, honey. Not everybody's go big or go home. I, I know. I know. It's hard to believe. I, me too. It seems to me if you're thinking it or feeling it, fucking own it. But a lot of people have a hard time taking ownership. That includes their own feelings. <sighs> this person might be younger than you. Their energy is kind of immature. This confirmation for some of you. They might be very immature, but they're putting off a lot of aces. They want you to take them more seriously, but... They're also not giving you much energetically to coax out. They have these big feelings for you, but it's on a page of pentacle. What the fuck are you supposed to do with that? So, if out of these couple of folks you're seeing, and you don't think any of one of them deserves a tipping of the scales, as it were, I gotta speed it up. Um, take a look at this person who might be coming off as very shy, or they're younger than you. Those might be markers that this person is representing double aces. Okay. Is the attraction instant? King of Cups. Well, let's find out. Some of that King of Cups. I know we got big old feelings here, but are we expressing them? Mmm, stresses somebody the fuck out just thinking about it. Okay. Show me that King of Cups. Yeah, see, somebody is, I'm telling you, fucking disconnected from the heart space. We are disconnected from the heart space officially, and that's not good. Uh, heavy Taurian energy right here plus Scorpio. Okay. Heavy. We, oh my God. We're so disconnected from the heart space, it's not even funny. Uh, the hair font here, that's not good. Um, 
that's that's not good it's kind of like because again he heard me say the hair font he is the ultimate form of permission yes or no um this person they don't give their heart space permission to connect with it they they do not give themselves permission to connect the dots or connect to their heart space they have big feelings they reject those big feelings that's not good maybe if that if that guy weren't here i'd be like dude y'all sitting pretty y'all looking good you feeling good <laughs> like it's legit unfortunately it's not like that and plus it's that these mm -mm. So we are officially 100% disconnected from our heart space. There's no way in hell somebody here would ever say what it is that they truly want. And here it is, right here. Their energy is coming across as small, immature, and or reflective. What they want is huge. What they allow out is nothing. And here's the problem. We are disconnected from our heart space. How aware of you are this person, I do not know. I see you going out having fun. This is likely the person I'm seeing over here. Okay. Um, if this person were more in tune with their heart space or more connected to their heart space or they would if look, if they weren't busy denying like they I don't have a heart. I don't have a heart. I'm the thinking man. I'm smart. I'm king of swords over here. I'm fucking Aquarius. Could be. Um, I'm, I'm totally logical about this. I'm rational. I have no feelings for the situation. That's what it is to be disconnected from your heart space on such a large scale. They have to talk themselves out of it, but it's also creating a state of envy at the same time. I wish that heart space, that love, that passion that repre Aries represents was mine. Okay. All right. Let's keep on keeping on. Seven of Cups, honey. You got your options open. All right. I don't know how aware of it you are, this person. It just, it makes me sad looking at it because their energy is so small and... If I'm being honest with you, kind of helpless. What's going on, please? What's going on, please? When you're that disconnected from your heart space, you're going to... They're still looking at you. Fuck off. Page of Swords. They're still looking at you. A heavy Aquarian energy here. Um, God. It's, it's like they watch you do your thing. And it just... The disconnect is so far away. They're looking at you as a vision, as a stars, as the pathway, what they would like to see for themselves 5, 10, 15 years from now, and you are over there considering options. I don't know that you even see this person because, again, in reality, they pull up pages on the inside. What they're experiencing is substantially huge. They act like they don't care. They do. It creates a space of envy, particularly what they would like to see for themselves, where it concerns you and the future. But they're so dis they're so busy saying they don't have feelings for this situation that they actually believe it. They're full of shit. Um, it, oh my God! The challenges here. Two of Pentacles. I don't even know how aware you are. This person. They're so goddamn disconnected from what they experience. I don't even know that you you have any idea. Two of Pentacles, please. Your intuition, you juggling about what? Conserving your energy. You're not really giving it. I see. That's what I'm saying. Your biggest challenge is who do I date? Who do I take seriously? That's your biggest. That's your biggest concern. I saw it back here as well. You're seeing people, but you're still an individual at the end of the day, and you feel good about it, and you keep it that way. You are not committing your energy in any one direction because you're feeling it. You're trying to fill these people out, and you're like, mm, it's okay, he's okay, he's okay, but or she's okay, she's, I don't give a fuck, sex irrelevant, terror, I don't care. Your biggest concern is, you know, giving your energy to the right people as it should be when you're dating, absolutely. So it's, oh, oh my. Show what I need to see, please. It's, it's like it's not even a challenge for you. I just see you keeping on, keeping on. Your biggest concern is not giving your energy away to the wrong person. So how aware, how aware you are of this person, I do not know. If you have a past history with them and they still couldn't speak up when you did know them, I do not know. They might have been le legitimately abandoned by you before because they couldn't speak the fuck up about what it is that they were feeling or thinking. I see them. This is an active decision on their part, by the way, so I don't really feel too bad about them. They have chosen actively chosen to act like I have no feelings so they set themselves up for this particular failure so I I'm seeing them I don't know 
Four of Cups, the Hermit. For some of you, the marker is in four months, four days. The fourth of a month might be, no, might be of some significance for you. Um, again, oh, the tower. <sighs> for the most part, I see things as being calm and peaceful. I don't know why the tower, options. Okay, somebody, I, okay, okay. Honestly, the Hermit, for some of you, I swear to God, your marker is September, and then we have Seven of Cups plus Four of Cups is Eleven, so that would formally be November. Some of you will be connecting with this person if, if, because that Four of Cups, I have to remind people, is sometimes an out of the, out of the blue. It's an out of the blue cup. You didn't see it coming for some of you. Coupled up with the tower, that's very strong with some of you are going to be surprised. Okay. But it's not a bad surprise. It's not a shocking surprise. It was a passive surprise. In other words, you just weren't expecting it. Um, it's not shocking bad. It's just, oh, I, okay. Wow. Because I see you being quite peaceful here with the hermit. You're in Virgoville. You're cool. Okay. You're fine. You're doing your own thing. You're not giving your energy in any one particular direction. You're not locking anything down. You're just going with the flow at this time. You're also actually being very careful with your energy. You're using your intuition good. Don't overcommit your energy. I'd try to talk yourself into anyone or anything. Okay, but yeah, this four cups can sometimes mean out of the blue coupled up with the tower. Yeah, there could very well be an out of the blue message. Um, while you're over there being all uh, peaceful in the hermit and shit, especially if you have Virgo in your chart. Um, but yeah, we're looking at options to meet up. You're just kind of surprised. Okay. For some of you, that is September. Surprise. But it's not a bad surprise. It's passive. It's just unexpected message. Okay. For some of you, this is the when, where, that kind of category. So it can be very vague, but I don't, honestly, it's quite specific. Excuse me. I'm tired. I've been doing this all fucking day. Um, yeah. No, there might be an out of the blue message sometime around September. And we're looking at options to meet with this person. So... How much that gives you, I don't know. I just see it more as that this person's on the outside of your life looking in with envy, wishing what they had. They, what they see in you is what they wish they had for themselves. Particularly where your passion, your compassion, and your love is concerned. You are being very careful and very conservative with those qualities. That's an intended decision on your part, and that's the only thing I see. And perhaps they envy that. Perhaps they think that you're just out there giving that love and compassion away to anybody. You're not. You're actually being exquisitely, and I mean exquisitely careful, even for your standards. You know, but you're using your intuition to figure that out. They continue to watch you and see the stars in you. They see the vision in you. But their energy is still so very small, resting on pages twice. Yet, on the inside, they have big damn feelings, which, again, they consciously choose to act like they don't. So they're creating their own frustration, in other words. Uh, I'm frustrated. <laughs> it's like, I just want to speak up, you know? Mm hmm. Yeah, exactly. Take control of your damn self. All right? Have some confidence. You're cross watching Aries. Have some fucking confidence, man. Aries responds to confidence. There you go. Okay? It's not playing chicken. Okay? It's not a dare thing. It's just Aries responds to confidence. You know, I know who I am. I know what I'm about. I said I was going to do this day and time. I show up at this day and time. See how that works? <laughs> that's in and of itself is confidence. That means I know where I'm going. You understand me? That's Aries. That's fucking Aries in a nutshell. All right. And some, for some things like that, I tell you though, honey, as you know, some people find basic decisions like that intimidating. Having the confidence to say, I can absolutely tell you, I will be here at this day and time. That scares the shit out of some people. You know what I mean? It really does. It's like, how can you be so How do you mean you're going to be so sure? Because I said so. <laughs> that's, that's you. And you know what, though? Some people, though, seriously, honey, seriously, that kind of confirmation of having even basic life skills really does scare the shit out of some people. Okay, you know, Ten of Pentacles. And then October for some of you simply. Yeah, that fits the timeline. But yes, you will be meeting this person. It does look like it out of you weren't expecting it. You're quite peaceful. Your energy is quite calm, quite peaceful. 
okay especially a virgo in your chart you do receive an out of the blue message you weren't expecting it it feels good i do see you planning with this person they do seem to have some strength of character there by the time that you choose to meet or that you two meet so they seem to have some more strength of character there good that's good news okay honey this is exhausting i just want the <laughs> It's just a, if I feel like I just wanted to deal with this person. If you really feel two aces with Aries, get out of the page zone, man. Get out of the page zone. Claim your energy. This is, this is, this is wonderful in and of itself. I need you to, I need you to grow up. I need you to be the Knight of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, but this little page here isn't going to cut the mustard on these aces. Okay? I don't know. We're very disconnected from what we feel. There's no reason you should be walking around in life with envy in your heart. You know, you want to go after Aries, then fucking go after Aries. All right? All right, that's enough of that. All right, that's enough. Okay, Aries, I hope this message finds you well. Take care. Be well.